Hi guys, just doing a quick video about video transmitters <clears throat> and 12 volt cameras. Normally when you get your 12 volt camera, it's no good to use on your normal video transmitter. That's because on your normal video transmitter, you have 5 volts output uh, on it instead of 12 volts. But if you're running a 3 cell LiPo powering your video transmitter, which is normal really, there's a quick way around it without buying uh, any step up uh, regulators or running off your balance lead. Um, I'm just going to do a quick demo of how to. First thing you do is you want to disconnect your camera connector. Then we want the red 5 volt wire, which is not in focus. So just pop the tab where the red wire is, pull the red wire out and we're going to use that as our 12 volt supply to the camera. To get 12 volt supply we're going to tap off the 12 volt battery input of the video transmitter. Now to do that I'm going to pop this out. I'm going to repeat the process so it's out of focus, pop the pin in, pull the wire out, which is hard to do while you're behind the camera. Come on. Pull the pin out. And then get a pair of snips. Now we're not going to cut the wire. All we're going to do is, if I can get it in shot, is gently cut through the insulation only and then prise it back just a tiny little bit. Now if you take a couple of attempts to do this that's fine. See there you've got the bit of bare wire. There we go there. I'm going to get this connector. I'm going to snip this connector off. Bear the end of the wires, like so, and we're going to take this wire and we're going to wrap it around the bare conductor that you've just made available, like so. So now the little red wire is connected to the big red wire. We're going to get a soldering iron. And then we're going to solder it together. There we go. Like that. I should move half the stuff out of the way so you can actually see what I'm doing. Get rid of the old connector and a bit of conduct. Uh, insulation we don't need. Right, so now we have got no red in there. The little red now goes to the big red with the pin on the end of it. We then get a little bit of heat shrink like so. I wish this camera would actually focus. Pop that over the end, slide it down like that. So it's all right, we now take the heat shrink, we've pushed over, we apply heat through the lighter, not getting too close or it will burn it. I'll put burn max on it. It's now shrunk over. Sometimes when you push the tabs down, they go down too much and they'll, and they'll pop back out. So just using a knife, just push that tab back up again. Like so. Pop it back into your VTX connector. You should do this either side of the camera. Till it clicks, like so. And there we go. 
These, this end obviously is normally long and goes to your 3 cell LiPo. So now we take the video transmitter, we plug in the power, we plug in the camera connector, and now we have 12 volts going down the camera line to your WDR camera, which is so the VTX and the camera is both supplied solely from your 3 cell LiPo. With most WDR cameras, they can actually take over 16 volts power. So if you're running it on 4 cell and an immersion uh, transmitter like this, you can also power it off a of 4 cell and it will be fine all day. So there you go, the little bridge across there gives you your 12 volts for your camera. No transformers. Uh, no balance leads that can come loose during the flight. There you go, job done. Thank you. Cheers. Bye now.